Okay, welcome back to Brightside here on 10 Tampa Bay, Hurricane Headquarter time. Let's uh, let's take you back to last week. It, last Wednesday is when the Hurricane Center issued its first advisory for uh, well, what, what eventually became Hurricane Laura, but when it first became a tropical depression. We'll pick it up on Friday, okay, as it just started to approach the uh, Leeward Islands. It moved to the Caribbean, moved over the islands there, and then by, well, by Tuesday, this Tuesday became a tropical storm moving into the Gulf of Mexico. It then quickly strengthened, not just to a hurricane, but to a major hurricane, Category 4 hurricane, by, let's see, that was... Just two days ago, right? Yeah, uh, Wednesday. And then made landfall yesterday morning as the Category 4 hurricane. And then now it is back to a tropical depression as it moves through uh, Arkansas this morning. Wind speeds at 30 miles per hour. Hurricane Center has issued its last advisory on Laura now as it starts to lose its tropical characteristics. It will continue to lose those tropical characteristics, but it will still be an area of low pressure. We call it a post-tropical cyclone, or just an area of low pressure, a normal low pressure system that will then strengthen as it moves off the coast of uh, the Northeast. Though it won't become another tropical system, it will still gather strength. Kind of think of a nor'easter or something like that. So that's Laura. Of course, we're heading into the peak of hurricane season, so you got to look out over the tropics, and we actually do have two tropical waves that we're watching closely. These two tropical waves have a chance of developing right now. That second tropical system, or the tropical wave, I think is a little more concerning. Uh, Long-term forecast models have it developing a little bit more, but both of them right now have a 30% chance of development over the next five days.